thing. I'll be right down. You must have some connections, kid, when Herb Maris pulls all stops to Springer. I told you, Lieutenant, you had the wrong guy. I shouldn't even be here. What are you and Herb trying to pull here? Don't you know we've got this guy? Talk about law. Depriving me of the chance to question him, possibly find out who his Confederates are and what happened to the money. This is really legal obstruction if I ever saw it. I guess I just don't understand you guys. Lieutenant, the writ is in order. Now will you be kind enough to obey the court's directive? Aruda, bring the prisoner in here. Y yeah, I'm still at the police station. Well, well don't say it. I know... I know where you mean. Where we said, in case... If Maris is there, let me talk to him. Uh, the lieutenant wants to uh, talk to Mr. Maris. That's okay, kid. Maris here behaves himself real good. Lieutenant, like a few words with you, lawyer man. Hello, lieutenant. Herb, do you realize what you're doing to me? Another couple of hours of questioning and I'd have this whole thing wrapped up. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I have very convincing reasons for what I've done. Yeah, sure, they're holding a gun in your back. Lieutenant, if everything's in order... Everything's in order here, but I don't understand you, of all people. Defending a crook that's caught red-handed, and once more pulling strings to get him released. That's the way it is. Well, Herb, we'll just see if that's the way it's going to be. Writ or no writ, Lieutenant Weston didn't intend to let me get away with obstructing justice. If he could help it, that is. I didn't see how he could. Mr. Maris's residence. This Lieutenant Weston, is Maris there? No, sir, he's not. This is answering service, Lieutenant. Have you called his office? Yes, I have, and he's not there either. Did he say he was going away for the weekend or something? No, sir, he didn't. Uh, if he should call in, shall I have him call you? Uh, yes, please do. Give me Hal Seal's address. Hal, look, this is beginning to get a little annoying, so I thought you'd probably know. Look, I'm not disturbing your wife coming here at this hour of the night, am I? Oh, no, no. Uh, my, my, my wife's asleep. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Lieutenant. You mean to tell me Herb Maris left no word where he could be reached and that doesn't worry you? Oh, Lieutenant, I appreciate... Oh, look, Hal, if there's anything unusual, uh, something I can't help with as an officer of the law, I want you to remember this. I... Might be able to help as a friend. Thanks for dropping by. Good night, Lieutenant. Good night, Harold. Just come inside the post office. Five after eight, kind of early for a Saturday morning. Oh, he's there before it opens. That anxious, huh? Here it comes. He's got something. Up in. We'll find out where he's going with that package. I'm going in this way. Cops, boy. Come on! I'm not a three-time loser. What a... Open the door. This is the police. Come out with your hands up. They're gone. You're all right, Herb. We heard some shots. We're all right. They're up there, circling the house. They're making for the back road. We can head them off. Herb, 
I'll get behind them. You nearly fooled me, Counselor. Till I figured out that you'd never defend a man as guilty as Tom Fuller. Not voluntarily. I had one very convincing reason. Roy Fuller. All right, Tom. Get him. 